Hey folks, in this video we're going to put the fun back into light functions using the new atlas. We'll talk about the basics of light functions, efficiencies of the new atlas, as well as expanded functionality, and finally, some console variables to give you even more power. We're in Unreal, but ooh, the scene looks so blown out. So what is the first thing that we need to start doing when dealing with light usually? Go into project settings and type auto exposure and turn it off and let's see ah there we go much better it's much easier to control lights without the auto exposure messing things up so what have we got here we've got some light functions that have already built and what is a light function well a light function is a material that's often animated that's dropped right onto a light and so if we scroll down onto light you can see right here under the spotlight that there's a light function already dropped in. So I'm going to double click on this and what have we got? It's just a simple fan icon. It's modified by a rotator. And so we've got other uses of this. We've got light functions for cloud shadows that are being driven that are sort of going across the landscape. We've got a light function for a light flicker over here. And finally, I've got what I would like to do is add a colored light function here. And in addition, I've got some fog in my scene and I want to have the light function affecting the light fog, sort of like with this fan. So what's wonderful about the light function Atlas is it allows for additional functionality as well as efficiencies. So how so? Well, if we turn on Alt-7, we can see light complexity up here. And you can see that it's not too bad of a scene in terms of the light complexity, where there's overlap of lights, you start to get a little bit more complex. But with light functions in the past, it was very difficult to do colored light functions or light functions through transparent materials. And so now with Unreal 5.5, we can start to do that. So how do we do that? Let me go back into lit mode. And we to do that, we go into settings again and project settings. And I'm just going to type Atlas. And I can turn on the use light function Atlas and also right here, 8 bits per channel with the RGB color. And we'll need to restart. In addition to that, uh, before I restart, I am going to make sure I have a plugin turned on, which is the console variable editor, which I'm gonna show you. Uh, I've plugged in all the console variables that you can use with this. So let's restart. Hey, look at that, we're back. And you can already see that we've got functionality. The light function, on this light is colored and now we can drop that rotating fan in the light with the fog on it so let me do that just drop that into the light function material and look at that uh, light fog now you can actually see the light function modifying the light fog awesome and efficient great for future projects next item so i'm going to hit alt 7 again and look at that it's still green. So in my previous video on light functions, I showed how to do a light function workaround and bring things into color, but it was definitely moving into the red. So I'm going to hit Alt 4 and go back. And in addition, we've got some water here with the single plane water. And I am also able to shine the light through that. So if I zoom in here, you see that the, the light actually penetrates the water surface, which is great. And it's still pretty efficient. The material is not. It's a pretty complex material, but that's amazing and it's working. Okay, so what are the console variables that you can use with light functions? And I also mentioned the console variable editor. So let's pull that up. So we'll just go up to Windows and just type console console variables 
And what's great about the console variable editor, it's a, it, I think it was released in 5.2, is you can store a bunch of console variables that are for specific functions. And I've already done that. So under the presets here. So these are the console variables. I will also copy and paste these into the notes below. And then you can just test these variables. And so one of the first ones is this show flag for a light visualization. What does this show us? Well, it shows us, let me put this in an area so you can read it a little bit. So it shows us that these different light functions that are running in the scene are going to roll into an atlas. And what does that mean? It gets baked in in an, in an efficient way. It also tells you if it's compatible or not compatible in terms of how it's all working. So it gives you a lot of data. And so we can turn that off, either going into the console variable, hitting the tilde key, hitting zero. And then the other different functions will allow you to turn on and off the light function atlas water. Changing the light function atlas format to zero will return it to a single channel, making it only red. Let's try that. So if I dial this, let's see. If I set that to zero, you can see it, it pulls the G and B. So it just leaves the red there in terms of the, the color for the, at, the colored light function. Um, the other one was the single layer water in terms of it, light penetration and the resolution. And also there's translucent. I didn't uh, drop in any translucent objects, but I turned that on anyways. All right, I'd love to hear what you're doing with your light function atlases. That'll wrap things up. If you like the video, give it a like and make sure you subscribe for more weekly Unreal content.